Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. They push you, they push you, and they keep pushing you. They push you too far. They push you too far. Now that you are built a thick skin, they are blaming you and calling you stubborn. You are not stubborn. The truth is that you are standing your ground. It is not stubbornness. They push you too far. Now they push you and you push you, you now find your ground. You now find your ground. I cannot be a pushover anymore. I will not be a pushover anymore. When they see that they can no longer push you, they will not call you stumble. You are not stumble. It is because you are not obedient to their own rule. When you disobey one and you obey another, you become stumbled to the one that you disobey. And you become obedient and good to the one that you obey. When you obey God, you are called a good servant and an obedient servant, a genuine servant that is not complaining, always saying yes to the master, always say here I am. I will do according to your will. <clears throat> I will do according to your work. I will act according to your work. You know, they have pushed you to that level now. Where you have built stamina. <laughs> where you have built stamina. To resist every attempt that need to push you, like you have built the stamina. I was listening to a woman of God one day, and the woman said, Every die is death. You know, you grow to that level, and every die now die. Every death is death. Like you, you are no longer afraid. Anything that wants to happen, make let it happen. You've not built their stamina to say no. They call you stumble. <laughs> you know, some people will push you and push you and push you, not knowing that they are bringing out the best in you. They will thought that they want to bring the worst in you, not knowing that they are even helping you to know your purpose in life. Not knowing that they are even helping you to find out who you really are. Am I a pushover or I am somebody? Am I a nobody or I am somebody? When you say yes to the Lord, you become somebody. When you say yes to the Lord, the Lord makes something out from nothing. When you say yes to the Lord, the Lord, the Lord will hold you and set you for the world to see. When you say yes to the Lord, you become a stubborn one to the devil. A pushover that they can put a bet on at any time. Like, did we not say he's coming back? Did we not say she's coming back? If he did not come back, we'll go and beat him and beat her up. <clears throat> but they get to where you are. They see that you are not the type that can be beaten anymore. That can be ridiculed anymore. The Lord has given you a name. Because the Lord is making a name for himself <laughs> through you. The Lord is proving himself through you. Hallelujah. When they push you, they expect you to become naive. They expect you to become somebody who does not know your right to the, the your left to the right anymore. But through the help of the Lord, you build stamina. Now they are calling you stumble. <laughs> Oh, you are not stumble. 
You just refuse to obey what is wrong. That is why they are calling you stumble. I pray God will help you in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Siren, by the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.